Right, today's little task is fitting a RNG tail tidy to the GSXS 750. Um, obviously at the moment it has this behemoth of a thing, elephant's cock stuck out the back with your number plate and everything on. And it will end up with just that little bit there instead tidying the whole of the back up hence the name tail tidy so first things first passenger seat is off as you can see and then inside you'll see where the four bolts are that hold the um, tail on that's on there at the moment and to undo them you need to go underneath and I need a torch you need to go underneath and you'll see from here I've taken three of them out so you've got one there one there one there and one I've just left in so I don't know the correct procedure to be honest but I've just opted for taking those four out first um, so I've just got the last one to take out like that and then the whole thing should drop away now it's just held on by the electrics and to get to them you need to undo five crosshead screws which as you can see I've already done to hand tight so we'll get rid of them and then when you take this off it uncovers the wiring so obviously to the indicators and then to the number plate light Right, to actually, it's probably a little bit arse about face, but to actually um, get to the indicator and number plate light wiring, you need to go in underneath the uh, driver's seat, rider's seat. Um, and to do that, you need to undo this Allen bolt here and then pop this off the three rubbers there one two three and then just pull it forward a little bit release it off of them and then just pull it forward a bit which allows you access to the allen bolt that holds your pilot seat on you need to do that both sides to get access underneath your pilot seat which will then give you access i thought the connectors were in here but that's more for the back light um, they filter right down the side here um, so yes you need this off so I'll take both sides off this is also necessary because obviously you've got to get to the indicator screws saying that is it yeah you've got to get to the indicator screws anyway so you need to release this off of here and you need to take this back plastic off it would probably be easier to take the wiring off first because obviously then everything would just fall away so yeah so allen bolt out pop it off the rubbers there you go and then pull it out but the two two lugs here two lugs here are actually attached 
or the three lugs are attached to these plastic bits as well so you've got to sort of push them in while you pull this one out so there you go and to preserve where my Alan bolts go I have a habit of sticking them back in the hole so then same size Allen bolts one either side which will release the pilot seat still need a bigger shed So yes, yeah, probably better to do this first. And then once you've undone the four bolts underneath, the whole thing should pull away with the, the wire and unplugged. Well, saying that, I'm assuming it's for that reason. And that pulls up at the front away so yeah I'll find it and let you know right right the next step is undoing this 10 mil bolt here pushing in a quick release pin here and on the top here and taking this section here off and the wire in it is just behind here I believe so I'll do that and I'll come back so if you haven't done these before you simply push the middle in until it clicks and then the whole thing pulls out simple as that and then this he says should right miss one there's also one which won't be the best of there with another push out one Center still in there. There you go. Right, so in this section here, that's the seat locking mechanism, the bit the seat goes into. Um, down in the depths here, you've got a cable clip. You push that backwards. So you've got a cable clip under here, push that backwards and then pull your cable out, your cable clip out, which will allow your rear light in to be loose. Then there's another cable tie there that will need cutting and a cable tie there that will need cutting. Um, and then you need to undo the white one, grey one, and black one I said that's so like I know what the hell I'm on about uh, that one goes that one seems to go up and through into there so you've got three wires going up so they're the three so it'd be indicators and number plate light I only say that because these have got both got green tape on which sort of suggests they are. Which one's which, I don't know. That'll be trial and error. But yes, so you pull these tags up and undo them. And that one there, 
pull the tag up and it will just flop out. There you go. So I'll cut them cable ties and then we should be able to pull the wires through. Who's had my, who's had my cutters? You can't believe in such a small shed. What did I cut on it? Ah, there they are. Exactly where I left them. So, mind your fuse holder. So that one, and then this one, obviously really careful not to cut your wires. And that should release these three. Oh, there's another, there's another fixed one there, which is similar to that first one, the one we did down here. We have to push the lug out and then pull your cable tie through. Just turn it around. So, you just pull your lug out. Pull your lug out there. And with this one, you just pull it out. Put that down there with the rest of the stuff. And then these wires here will feed out through the hole. And then we've got our unit off. And as I say, once you've undone the wires and that, that would be really the time to undo this section. But I've done it arse about face and it hasn't really made that much difference. So I've undone one of these indicators already. I'll just pull that through. So that's ready to go on the new system. I'm not changing to LEDs at the moment. That's the license plate one, which we don't need. The RNG kit gives you, there you go, a little LED number plate light so your your whole number plate light is access to requirements as I say eight mil nut on the indicators and pull it through not easy one handed I should get a bloody tripod shouldn't I Keep doing more and more of these videos. Right, so there you go. That's both the indicators off. So just need to take the plate off. Um, also the RNG kit comes with a reflector as well. A little round reflector, which is necessary for um, British MOTs. You have to have a reflector at the back. So just stuff that out of the way. So there you go. It is more of a strip down than I thought it would be. But we're getting somewhere, which is the main thing. We're moving forwards all the time. Right, so there you go. That's on. Bit of nut. Locker on the back, two bolts done up, wires fed through. Right, that was fun. Um, got to put it through on the heat sink. And it's a close fit, which it needs to be with heat sink. So what I did was taped a bit of string to the black and then taped the red to the black and then obviously pulled them through but it kept on coming undone so it's been a bit of a pain but it's there now so 
as one bit of heat shrink through. I think that needs to go through the slot, but I'll do that in a minute. They don't provide it, but they do mention about a bit of um, what's called super glue to hold your heat shrink in there and then obviously shrink it on. And also a little bit of super glue, which puts your shroud over the top and then that pushes back flush here. Right, so this is where we're at. Got the indicators on. Um, fit neatly straight onto the bracket. No problem at all, hole for the wires, hole for the bolt to come through. I've put nut locker on both the indicator um, bolts and on the number plate, the little six mil nuts there. Um, done the heat shrink for the wiring for the number plate light, fed it all through the hole on the metal plate, fed it all through the hole on the spacer plate, and that's where I'm at at the moment. So the next thing to do is to feed the wires up through the hole in my ass. Get a torch. This won't be awkward. Right, so all the wires need to go up through this first hole here. Right, so as I say, I'm using the, the original indicators so the lines on them are okay um, and by the looks of it the kit supplies you with the necessary wires all right so there you go up through the hole in the back yeah the kit supplies you with the necessary wires to change it from the book to plug directly into the bullet connectors on it There you go, that will bolt into there. Bolt supplied, <coughs> stainless steel M6s by the looks of it. So, bit of nut locker on that. I've just put two in there just to hold it up at the moment. Bit of nut locker. <coughs> Wind it up, we've got the Allen keys. So yeah, four of them in the original four holes. Make sure your wiring's already pushed through. Good enough. And then on the top, because these bolts are longer, as you can see, hang on a minute, we have four dome nuts and four more washers. And they end up like that. Each one with a washer and a dome nut. So I'll do that and then I'll come back and show you where the wiring's going. It's wiring. Unwrap it from here. I sort of half tied it up so it would hold the new plate up. So we can feed it down through there.
And this, I believe, needs an adapter on it. So let's see what we got. All about the same by the looks of it. So these are for um, if you use their mini LED lights. If you uh, use RNG's mini LED lights, you've got the wire in there. So, as in this one, it's this is just the tape. I taped onto the paper, to the paper, to the string to pull the wires through the heat shrink. So we don't need that. So yeah, they provide the harness to adapt it from the bullet connectors. To the OEM fitment, which is gonna leave me a little bit of extra wire hanging about. Yeah. Right, I think that was the... There you go, slot straight in. And indicator-wise, we'll go for... That one. And that one. Now, switch the ignition on and see if the lights work. Turn that off. Right, we've got a number plate light. Nice. Now, other indicators right way around. Yes. So there you go, all the wiring in the right place. Right, so side panels on. So you've got a knob jewel there that goes in the rubber mounting there. You've got a white bit there which goes in that square there. You've got two tags here which clip into these two here. And then along your top edge. Definitely need a tripod. Along your top edge, you've got these hook bits, which hook into these slots here. So, it should sort of hook into the bottom, sort of first, or the top. Then the top first, move the torch, because that's in the way. So top first, and then slide it back to where it wants to be and then just repeatedly hit it until you're happy with where it's located. So that goes in there. Just doesn't feel. No, it's got a... There you go, that's that. And then you've got one of these smaller uh, which was which you've got one of the smaller ones which you want in the popped out position which goes in here you push that in and then to lock it you just click that in and that's that solid and then we have one under here somewhere under here on that one which was again another small one is it a small one it was a small one wasn't it yeah so in there and again just push the tip in 
and that's it sorted. And then we've got the bolt that goes in here. Again, I want a little bit of nut locker on that. So yeah, a little bit of nut locker. Just a bit of blue, not the red. And then 10 mil. Mm. All right, that's them bits. And then we had this bigger one, which went in the side in there. There's my torch gun. In that hole there. Real fun place. So again we push it so we've got nub jewel showing. And then we quite easily, there you go. I'll push that too far. All right, so I've got to pull that out and redo. All right. Well, you know what you're doing. Push that in until the nub jewel's flush, not right in. So I need to take that out and redo. Right, got that on. So there you can see it there. Nice and flush on the face. There you go, there. Nice and flush. I pushed it in too far, which sort of opens it up again. So that had to be redone. So now, get off this bloody speaker wire. Now we've got the seat to go back on, which the two white bits there hook into these bits here, either side. All right, so, and then, Oh yeah, if you have left the bolts in, take them out. <laughs> yeah, it's just so I don't lose them. So that goes in there. And then one either side. Hold your seat down. Right, so side panels. So this, this hook bit here hooks into that slot there, just underneath the seat. And then everything goes up and under. And then you just want to get your lugs in your rubber grommets. There's one back here. Like that, and two there. Missed it. And then on this front edge, you've got this rubber ceiling strip, and this edge, as you can see, just fits fits nice and snug straight in there to seat that stop it vibrating on your frame and once again a little bit of nut locker and put your one allen bolt back in and that is that one RNG tail tidy fitted just a quick word on these um, push down locking plastic pin things that Suzuki uses um, everybody says how flimsy they are and how easy they break they're right they do 
So I learned this on my GSX GSX 1250, the Bandit, fully fed Bandit, um, and as delicate as I wanted to be, there'd always be one that would snap off. Hence, keeping spares. So if this is something, you know, if you're going to do regular maintenance to invite, might be worth investing some of them. That's probably about four or five quid's worth of eBay, and there's a selection of sizes in there. Um, just a thought, just, you know, just maybe worth it before you undertake something, um, undertake a project like this to uh, to have some spares just in case it goes tits up. But there you go. Right, let's get this number plate swapped. Right, and that's definitely it now. Number plate light with the number plate on. There you go though, what a difference it makes to the big elephant cock that was hanging out the back before. Yeah. And there you go, how to fit an RNG tater. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, easy for you to say. How to fit an R and G tail tidy to a GSX S 750. And this is the Zent Phantom in black. It's gorgeous. Anyway, ride safe.